What's up guys, how are you doing? I hope well. Normally I dive right into these videos, but I just wanted to quickly state that I have a little cold, so if I sound like I'm under the weather a little bit, then you know why. But who am I kidding? This video is not about me. No, not at all. This video is all about you. This is all, this is all about you and your interest in buying this computer. Or maybe you have some questions about the display that perhaps I could help answer for you. That's why you're here, not to hear me talk about my cold, no. So I wanna take this opportunity real quick to say thank you for everyone who has watched my first video of this. If you haven't, I think you should check it out before watching this one because I don't want this video to perhaps sway you from buying the laptop because I'm not gonna talk about how capable this laptop is. If you wanna know how capable this laptop is, check out that, that first video. That's all about the specs, the performance and the attributions of the machine itself. This is more of the nitpicky stuff and just some things that I've learned about specifically the display and the hinges while using it. So thank you for joining me and let's jump right in. Now I've had this computer for about a month and a half now and I started to notice on the screen there's this little faint line appearing. And at first I thought it was like a pixel issue. I thought maybe I had some screen burn or something because after all this is an OLED display and not only on the left side but on the right side of the screen in the same spot. So I'm thinking what, what's the issue with this? Like what, what could be causing this? And then I decided to clean up the screen and I felt it. Like I felt an actual texture. So I was like okay so this is on the outside of the screen. Maybe I can just wipe it off. So after some buffing and cleaning I did manage to get a lot of it off. But I still had to figure out why. When you close the screen, there's actually a lip right above the trackpad and right below the keyboard. And that lip, just like the rest of the base of this computer, has a somewhat sharp edge. It's not as sharp as like the outsides, but it's, uh, it's like a dull little hook down. And that's exactly where the screen is aligned with when it touches down. Now it must be mentioned that even though these markings will exist. Once you turn on the display, there's a good chance you won't even see them unless you are looking for them. But again, if you clean your display regularly, I think you'll be okay. So with that being said, I've learned now that it's gonna take a little more maintenance than maybe the full HD models that have a plastic screen because plastic is more flexible and you might not even have that issue at all. One solution could be to like put a little rubber stopper right on that lip so it protrudes a little bit to keep this from totally closing down, I don't know. Now there's one more issue and that has to do with the hinges. These hinges are a part of the base of the laptop and connects to the screen, which is plastic. So there's going to be a little bit of wiggle when you're connecting metal to plastic, you're gonna get that. It's not just the awkward wiggle and flex this way, but the hinges themselves. So if I shut this laptop, you can actually see these hinges flex in while you close it down. So those are the two screen flex issues that I've ran into so far. Now, again, I'm not telling you this to turn you away from this laptop. It's still a phenomenal laptop. It's still a great machine to create on. If there's anything else to update you guys on, or if you guys want to know anything else about this laptop, leave a comment. Also, side note, if you want to win a free camera backpack, a free Endurax camera backpack, this one right here, I just launched a giveaway. I'll link that video in the description below. Check it out. I created a short cinematic video about it. It was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I think you guys should check it out. There's, there's nothing to lose, no purchase necessary. The video will show you how to enter. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry, this is kind of brief. This is pretty informal. Um, I think most of my videos are informal nowadays. I need to go get some tea or something because I'm... Uh, Something's up with my throat. So you know what to do guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it if you will. Leave me a comment. I love talking with you guys. I try to get back to every single person I can. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I upload more than just these types of videos like vlogging and a lot of camera stuff. So if that interests you, then consider doing that. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next video. Peace.